Today on the channel, we got a big one, literally, from Super 7, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Party Wagon, Ultimate Edition. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! channel for another super 7 ultimate edition unboxing and review and today on the channel we got something we've been waiting a heck of a long time for we got the ultimate edition party wagon of course teenage mutant ninja turtles but for all your super 7 needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting up entertainment earth use discount code kyle save yourself 10 percent all in stock items anything over 79 dollars does ship free got to get a deal out there and i did go to entertainment earth and that is exactly where i bought this from as i did around you got to get a deal out there and this was a little bit cheaper from entertainment earth than it was for big bad toy store so i went over to entertainment earth to pick this one up and i feel like we pre-ordered this about two years ago i guess uh, all good things come to those that wait but man a long long wait no doubt about it especially if you're one of the ones that pre-ordered right off the bat they had your money for a long time that's never a fun day I always talk about that on the channel as well. So Entertainment Earth hit in stock. I jumped, went after it, and here we are, ready to talk party wagon. And we're no stranger to the party wagon. Recently on the channel, I haven't even put the video up yet. I got the Mutant Mayhem party wagon. Got that one. Of course, the Playmates one and the re-release Playmates one, which we unboxed here on the channel. And then most recently, we also did the NECA turtle van. We did unbox that on the channel as well. So it's the battle of the party wagons, turtle vans, going on right now we'll do some comparisons later on in this video as we usually do but of course we're gonna do this video like we do all the other videos on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're gonna see where it goes from there and i already took this one out of the box and it's off in the side still wrapped up in the styrofoam figure we go through the box and the accessories first then we'll dive into the party wagon itself but as you can imagine a big big box right here very, very cool. Of course, plastic-free packaging on this one, but I love the artwork here. Love the scene going on. The classic turtle logo, of course. Party wagon. You got Leo and Shredder duking it out on the top. April surfing the top up there as well. Splinter riding shotgun. Michelangelo driving. Or I guess that's uh, Raphael driving or sitting in there. Yeah, Raphael's driving. I got confused there for a second. Michelangelo swinging around, Baxter Stockman on his tail, and then you got Bebop Rocksteady in the background. So very, very cool. It does say Ultimates on the front of the box, as you can imagine there. We get a little action here. Some action features of what is inside. Just old school playset type stuff. Uh, swing open the battle seat. Slap on some rad decals. You got that. Of course, very uniform with the Super 7 Ultimates packaging, as we do see that brick facade, uh, facade all over the place, as usual. Can blast some tunes on the boom box, get into the engine bay, all that kind of stuff. Then on the back, very, very cool. Once again, on the back there, there it is, kind of the wagon in real form. You got some sticker sheets, you got some of the accessories, just really building out what is in this packaging. And there is a lot going on in here. And I love the included accessories because it's one of those things, it's so long in between pre-order and getting here, you kind of forget what you're in, uh, in for with these kind of things. So some nice surprises here for you to be a great time. Let's go through the accessories first. And first we'll go through that boom box. Now the boom box can be outside of the wagon or it will plug into the wagon, of course. But a very cool turtle boom box here as we see the yellow and green attack like a young Terry Steinbach in 1989. Shout out to Oakland A's, of course, as usual. But love this one, love all the turtle kind of uh, graphics around the speakers, things. Just a very, very cool boom box right there. A cool one that I forgot all about is it is a mouser. Of course, you know all about these mousers, but it's like it got ran over by the turtle wagon, so you can see it all crunched and swished right there. Would look very cool on display as well, so I like stuff like that. That looks really good. We got a winch, so you can put that on the front if you want to, or you don't have to, but it spins right here. Real chain going on, nice effect here. I love the real chain, the hook on the end. Just reels in, reels out, just like a winch would do if you had it on the front of your Jeep or something like that, but plugs into the front of the wagon. You can use it, not use it, choose your own winching adventure. Is it a Warren winch? Shout out to Warren winches. Always the best winches for me back in the day, for sure. 
So we do got that. We do got a nice toolbox. Old school grandpa toolbox is what this is. This reminds me of my grandpa. He'd make them out of wood. You know, here's my toolbox. And he made me one out of wood one time when I was a kid, just like this here. We got the handle here and store everything inside, which is very nice to be able to store everything in there, of course. But you can't have a toolbox without some tools. You get a couple different wrenches going on over here, looking really good. They got the TMT in the middle on this one and on this one as well. So you got two different kinds of wrenches right there. Throw those right in. Then you get a TGRI canister. I guess that's always on point, of course, with anything turtle related. We're going to throw that in the toolbox. How about a flathead screwdriver? Nice blue handle, silver at the top. You can use it as a weapon if you want to. Stab somebody in the eye if you need to. Who knows what you might be up to there. We do get this nice torch here, of course, Donatello working on the wagon. He's got a little torch action. We got the black and yellow attack. Means only one thing. Striper fan, no doubt about it. Repping Striper even on his uh, blowtorch here. So looking really good there. I love the blue flame effect on the end. Looking very nice. We're not done. We got a big old mallet. Got a mallet there if you need to knock some things in on the tires or something like that. Whatever you need to do, throw that in the toolbox as well. And of course, we got the flathead. You got to have the Phillips screwdriver. A nice red handle on here, silver at the top. Looking good, looking on point. So a lot of different stuff there. Here's another one that I forgot all about, but I remember them saying this was going to be a part of it. It is a keychain for your real vehicle uh, that you drive around. It is a Ninja Turtle keychain to signify uh, you got the party wagon. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Party Wagon 2023 Viacom Super 7. So that was cool as well to get that. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to leave that in there, keep that all together, you know, for a rainy day or something like that. Uh, you do get a few different things here as far as helmets and uh, disguises, I guess you could say in a way. We do get some cool Ray-Ban shades going on here, so you get some black shades looking very nice. And these will stick on any turtle you want them to, which I think is a cool piece of business there. You do get a shell helmet here with the little brown leather straps on the side, kind of like an army helmet is what this looks like. So we did get that with this set. Then we get like a Flyboy one, like he's getting ready to go in the old Turtle Blimp, I guess. Maybe that'll be the next Super 7 Ultimate vehicle will be the Turtle Blimp. We'll see what happens there. Uh, but a nice brown cap, black glasses on brand right there once again. And then you get Donatello's welding mask, all oh, the old welding mask. Once again, it reminds me of my grandpa in his shop as a kid. My grandpa was a welder. That's what he did. And I would go in the shop back in the day, and he'd say, Buck, he'd always call me Buck. Uh, Buck, turn around and close your eyes, because he was going to weld. He'd put his welding mask on, and I'd want to peek so bad. He said, if you look at it, if you look at that flame, you'll go blind. So I never did. I never peeked. But I'd be sitting there in the corner with my eyes closed, kind of looking away, and just, uh, can I turn around yet? Can I turn around yet? Ah, simpler times, simpler times, but always love a good welding mask, looking really nice there. And then you got to have a plunger, I guess. There's no bathroom in here, but who knows? It's a last-ditch weapon if they need to. We do get a nice plunger here. One of those accessories you could use with different toy lines, really, if you wanted to as well. So a lot of accessories going on there. And then you do get a couple of bombs here. The old party wagon, we always had these. You could drop the bombs out of the wagon. Got two of these in orange. Very peculiar looking is what they look like. I don't know, they look like they might be used for something else. I'm not sure, but uh, interesting. Two bombs, missiles, whatever you want to call them, right there going on. But we're not done with some of these accessories. We get some really cool stuff going on here. As we do get a little folder, a party wagon new owner's pack. So a nice folder, of course, the yellow and green attack like a young Oakland A's. You do get a little New York State party wagon license. You can put your name, hometown, birthday, eyes, height, signature, all that in there. Are you a shell donor? Uh, so it is like a driver's license here. I don't think I'm going to fill this out. I think I'm going to leave this how it is. But I do appreciate little things like this. They go a long way. And they're cheap to produce, but they're a really cool thing to be thrown in this total package here. So we do get that going on. Now we did talk about stickers, so you get a little bit of, you know, dust and smoke stickers right here, three of those. Boot the foot, <laughs> boot the foot, maybe, who knows. Uh, but we got that going on right there, looking good as a sticker. Then we got a couple of bumper stickers here. Honk if you're hungry for pizza. Well, that's me, 24-7. Shout out to pizza everywhere. Looking good there. My other car is a party wagon. So we can put these on our actual automobiles. I don't know if my company car, I could put that on there. I don't know if that's uh, in the uh, handbook at work. I'm not sure if I could do that, but you never know. You never know. And then we do get the big old sticker sheet right here. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's party time. Cowabunga. Skateboard. Stinks. Boot the foot. 
uh, Lodge, Laugh Gas, Laugh Gas, Stink Gas, Stink Gas. So we got two bombs. You could put those on there. Now, there has been a lot of word out there about these stickers that they don't necessarily fit on the party wagon, which is a bummer right there. That some of these are too small, too big, they don't make sense. Not sure where that's going to go. We've seen Super 7 in the past send out corrected things to people that needed them. That's always a good gesture by them. We remember getting Panthro's correct head, things like that. Uh, some of that stuff back in the day. I guess it was uh, his diaper down there for Panthro. And I think they threw in an extra head. Maybe it was something like that. Uh, but these don't work. And as of right now, I'm leaning on not even putting the stickers on this one. We'll see what ends up happening there. Uh, but Because just in case, hey, what if down the line they do give us a new sticker sheet? I don't know. We'll see how that ends up playing out. But as of right now, I know there is some complaints about that. There's also some complaints about there not being a sticker instruction sheet. Uh, because I was hoping there would be because I was going to call my dad over and say, Dad, could you please help me out just like the old days? Put the stickers on the vehicle. Uh, but apparently you just kind of go off of what you see on the box is what you got to do. And that's not necessarily all on the up and up right there. So little thing to note there with the stickers uh, for those keeping track at home. So that's all the accessories. That's the sticker. That's the box. Now we got to get into it. Let's get into the party wagon. All right, time to roll on in to the party wagon unboxing. And we got the party wagon out of the box. And first thing I will say, you basically take it over the side, take it out of the styrofoam protective covering, and bam, you got your party wagon. You don't have to put things together, nothing like that. I guess stickers really the only thing you have to work on here. So very cool. I always do appreciate that. I don't have to sit here for an hour with instructions, putting stuff together. They did all the heavy lifting for us. And I guess we'll just dive into this turtle party wagon right now so we're gonna start with the outer side of this and i guess we'll start with the front here now uh like we've seen with other party wagons in the past you got these up top and both orange nice vibrant bright color you got twist and turns right there turn at the top so you can choose your own turning adventure you got the little dish at the top here as well it does turn you got the big face plate here for the turtles it's protected and they're in a battle they need to protect the canopy there but that does of course Move up there if you need to. You can push that up. And then you do see the turtle windows in behind there, of course, in the turtle van. Now, those windows do come out if you need them to. Uh, I don't know really why you'd want to take them out, but if you really want to take them out, you can do that. Of course, on the front here, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You got the headlights in the front as well. You got the turtle face giving a big smile right there. A green and yellow attack throughout on this one, as you can imagine, on brand with the turtles. Of course, we do know. Turning around here to the wheels on the side. Now, we do got the pizza rim covers here. These are removable, so if you don't want the pizza on there, you can take those off, put those with your accessories. That is a possibility if you really wanted to. On the side, of course, this door does pop open like we see that with the jump seat and stuff. We'll get into that in a little bit. Got nice plastic windows throughout here. There is no windows in the door. The door, of course, opens up. Big, wide opening there on the door. Of course, we do know the Super 7 Ultimate Turtle figures. Very big figures at the end of the day. So we do open up right there. I will say one thing I did say I wish the NECA Turtle Van had, this one does have, is we do got kind of a reflective mirror there. So we got a little bit of mirror there, so if we need to look in the back, I think that's an easy one. It's just a sticker on there, very easy to do. Wish the NECA one had that, of course. I've uh, been going to the back over here. We're going to go to the back side. Got the New York Turtle Power license plate going on. Now this is the trunk here. A little hard to get open. Uh, can I do it with one hand? Let's see. There we go. So it does open up right there. Of course, you can have Donatello working on the engine. You got a little turtle logo back there. Uh, just very cool. Very mechanical looking. Uh, it would be great if there was storage in here. You could store stuff. Some of those accessories. That would have been a cool feature, but that isn't to be the case here. But that does just lock in there. Very easy to do. You got the bumper here. All nice silver. Some exhaust pipes out the back. Then you get to the other side, of course, instead of the orange on the door, you get yellow on this side over here. Windows across the board all over the place looking very good. Now we're going to get to the top. Of course, you got that big uh, fin in the back there. The old, uh, you put the turtle sticker up here, of course, but a nice fin there. Very uh, surfer wagon type stuff. It looks like an old, you know, uh, surfing uh, van or something that would be out in California back in the day or something. There we go. Put that back down. Uh, but that looks good there. Of course, very shell-like on the roof of the vehicle. Looks like the party wagon to me. There's no doubt. Now, the canopy top does open up. So it just rotates out like so. And then you pull the back up. So everything opens up inside. If I can do this. Let's see. Kind of hard to do. But there it is. does open up inside there. And I'll get some pictures along to see. 
Uh, but looking inside the party wagon, looking very cool. Now, one side of the shelf, or one side of the seats, I should say, has sculpted in, of course, seat belts going on. You got the old school red, you know, button to press to get the seat belt out of there. You do got tears in the uh, seat. So what do they do? They put duct tape on it. How about them turtles getting real inventive? There's even an old school phone inside of here. It looks kind of like a VCR, a DVD player. Um, a microwave type thing up at top as well. You got two slices of pizza sculpted in just kind of on the ledge. Uh, that looks real interesting as you can imagine. Pizza all over. You got a wrench sculpted in there as well. You got a diamond plate floor on this one. That looks good. And then you got the front up there where the boom box goes. You can't stick the boom box up there. You can fit, I guess, six people back here and probably stand another two or three. So you can fit a lot of figures in the back here. This is a very big party wagon. Like I said, we're going to compare it to the NECA one and the old school Playmates one here in a little bit. But it does look really good. I don't have any issues uh, in the back here. Plenty of storage, plenty of space going on here. Looks really good as well. Now getting up front to the cockpit, of course, you got the steering wheel. Uh, you got the uh, gas pedal and all that kind of stuff down there. And I like the detail there with kind of the, the ribbed on the, um, on the gas pedals and brakes and stuff. Looks like an official kind of uh, vehicle is what it looks like. And then you got the big dash, all kinds of stuff going on. I guess tape player, CD player in there. You got the yellows, the greens, the oranges. Uh, you got the miles per hour. You got all that kind of stuff. You got the steering wheel actually does turn on this guy. So we got the steering wheel that works really good. Uh, and then you can fit two people up there as well. Once again, you got tears in the seat, so you do got duct tape all over the place. And of course, like I mentioned earlier, all the doors do open over here on the side. That works out pretty good. Then on this side of the fence, though, just like the party wagons of old, that jump seat does come right out. You can have some of the uh, bombs drop right off the side as well here. Now, there's no weapons, there's no gun or anything like that going on this side, but you do get a real seat belt over here, which I think is a nice touch. So if you want to lock somebody in, you got a real seat belt for them. But you come swinging out that big old arm and you're ready to go uh, we do have that so we've seen that with other party wagons turtle vehicles in the past uh, but that jump seat does have a real seat belt where the rest of them are all sculpted in right there on the bottom here nothing really going on you got diamond plate across the board looking good nice rubber wheels on here you've got a little bit of a squeeze to them they all roll very easily feels very nice feels very sturdy now that's one of the things with the NECA van where it feels nice but it feels like you could break something that's uh, one of the dangers it feels like it just could be dangerous if you're not careful if you don't watch what you're doing this feels very very sturdy and obviously this is a little bit more expensive than the NECA, NECA one this is the most expensive party wagon of all time so man it better feel sturdy it better not break on us and I I don't foresee that happening this is a very sturdy vehicle feels really really good obviously you can't roll it down the steps or something like that hopefully nobody's doing that but it does feel very well built feels very well constructed and boy it's tough I, i'm trying to think do i like this more than the neca one and i guess we're talking neca one might as well pull that out right now got that off to the side this one feels very NECA Cartoon Ninja Turtles, but the size difference between these two is uh, absolutely totally different uh, Different way of going to business is what it feels like to me. This is much, much bigger than this NECA one. I mean, you can even see here, I'll get some pictures, better pictures of it, but boy, that is quite the size difference. This feels just like a little, a little van where this feels like a massive like RV almost compared to these two. And they got some similarities, but obviously some differences. This has got the more muted colors, but this has got the more vibrant, kind of playmates colors is what's going on so you really can't go wrong either way they just look different this feels very playmates like feels very big very chunky this feels maybe a little sleeker a little bit more muted in the colors and really does match the NECA cartoon figure so going for what they are you want them to match the line they're a part of I guess I could grab a turtle here I got Michelangelo off to the side I mean you can see that size difference here how much bigger this is I mean this feels like real scale really for these guys this is huge. There's two turtles you can stack on top of each other. It's about the size of the wagon. Uh, and these do fit over here as well with this one. But uh, obviously the Super 7 Ultimate's made for the Ultimate Party Wagon. But boy, that scaling looks good. The extra wide doors, everything. Because that was one of the worries I did have when this first came out. You know, the Super 7 figures are a little hard to move around. They're a little bit bigger than some. How hard are they going to be to get in here? No issues at all. They fit perfectly inside this. There will be no issues getting these guys in and out. Uh, plenty of wide doors, all kinds of stuff. Even with their weapons on, you can still get them in there. So I do really like that a whole lot. So that was one of my worries, and it's easily put to the side. It's really not a worry at all. 
And then I'm going to stick in the middle here. How about the re-release of the Playmates van? So you can kind of see all the different sizes here of these turtle vans. Unbelievable. What a time to be alive, truly, this uh, in 2023. This was a re-release that came out still. I don't think it's on the pegs anymore, but it was for the early part of 2023. Obviously, this one coming in the last month, and now the Super 7 edition coming in the last month or so as well. So truly a, a quite a time, quite a year for the party wagon. We can almost do a party wagon top five. We just have to find one more. Uh, could we get the Hot Wheels one, one of those really small ones? Who knows? But quite the year for the party wagons this year, and I'm going to have to figure out which one I really do like the best. I am going to do a top five vehicles of 2023. There's been a lot of vehicles, a lot of Haslabs, things like that this year. I'm going to do a countdown video, and I have to think at least one of these is going to make the list for 2023. So stay tuned for that video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. All that kind of fun stuff, as I always tell you to do. And of course, here it is. This is it. This is the party wagon. So not a whole lot more to say about it, but really am pleased with the size and feel of this one. A good, good product. Love how sturdy it is. That was a concern I had. Really sturdy, really good. Really, I was going to say really good figure, but we'll call it a really good party wagon. How about? So there you go. But what are your guys' thoughts? What are you thinking about these party wagons? Obviously, both very expensive. Not going to be for everybody. Uh, you could buy a lot of figures for the price of this, and I truly do understand that one. Uh, it is a tough spend, and we'll see what happens in the future with some of these vehicles from Super 7. But let me know your thoughts. Which one do you prefer? Did you get all of them? Are you playing the waiting game? Could this possibly go on clearance like a Thunder Tank in the future? Man, I hope not. Oh, that'll hurt me, but you never know. Stranger things have happened, as we do know as well. But let me know your thoughts on the party wagon and your thoughts on this one, and if you're picking it up or not. And like I said, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bells. We get videos every single day and then some. And, of course, we've got two YouTube channels. Make sure you subscribe to both of those. We do Turtle Tuesday on the second channel every single week. But, of course, all early videos go over there to Patreon. You get them earlier than traditional YouTube. And YouTube, uh, of course, Patreon, the best place to support this very YouTube channel and all the content it does bring. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and on Instagram. So for a little party wagon action, I'm a Kyle, and I'll see you guys all real soon.